pink clam. You've probably had your own handful of times where you wish someone's presidency was over faster than their term entails. Whether it's a dementia patient, a bad company president, um, Elizabeth Holmes was actually the CEO? <laughs> Shut up, nerd. Or that little brat Danielle Jackson who became fifth grade class president because she promised to get a chocolate milk water fountain in every hall across campus. Gosh, I still hate her. But what about those who actually did have a short presidency? Warren G was... Ah, dang it. President Warren G was only president for one year before his body said, well, screw this job. JFK only held office for two years before this guy said, screw your job. Hell, this guy was only president for 31 days before dying. Jeez, imagine that. Boy, do I have some great things in mind. Free health care for all. Abolish slavery. There's no Coca-Cola yet, but when it comes, keep the co Real sugar. Ain't in the recipe. But we're not here to talk about WHH in his one month in office. The presidency we're here to talk about makes William Henry Harrison's presidency look like a Supreme Court appointment. That's because this guy was president for less than one day. In fact, it was one hour. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. How was someone president for one hour and I never heard this story? Well, numb nuts, you probably haven't heard it. Not because the YouTube algorithm feeds you fresh and fit videos, but because this mother flawaska was president of a little place called Mexico. <gasps> Pedro Jose Domingo de la Casada Manuel Maria Lascarén Paredes, or Pedro Lascarén for short, was born May 8, 1856 in Rancho La Romita, Mexico City, now known as Colonia Roma. He was born to poor rural parents Francisco Lascarén Acasa and Ana Paredes Cortez. Oh, what? They were wealthy? Uh, oh, there. That's better. Fast forward to 1880, Pedro... Ah! Pedro is no longer a niño. He's a man. And what man has two thumbs and just got his law degree? That's right, you little scoundrel, you. With his new law degree from Escuela Nacional de Jurisprudencia. De... Oh, let's do it again. With his new law degree from Escuela Nacional de Jurisprudencia, he went on to, uh. I actually have no freaking clue what he did. He pretty much fell off the map until 1910 when he fell back on the map and reappeared as mayor of Mexico City. Honestly, I can't find much information on his time as mayor either, so let's just assume he's the reason why we have Taco Tuesdays and frozen margaritas and keep it moving. Because while he was figuring out chicken or carne asada, this guy, Francisco I. Madero, was figuring out how to stop Porfirio Diaz from getting re-elected as president of Mexico so he himself could get the job. Long story short, Francisco freaking did that. W's in the chat for Madero. And luckily for our buddy Pedro, he found enough time between picking flour or corn tortillas for his Taco Tuesday initiative to support Madero. Madero decided, hey, aren't you the- wait, no. Hey, aren't you the Taco Tuesday guy? I like your style, muchacho. Why don't you become my foreign secretary and lead the tacos to sort themselves out? And that's exactly what Lascarain did. Lascarain was totally crushing it even getting re-elected for a second term, spreading the story of Taco Tuesdays far and wide to all the Democrat tacos and Retacokins. Let the Taco Tuesday joke go already, booty hole. Oh, okay. It was never funny. I, I definitely been going too long with that one. Wasn't even funny. <sighs> Unfortunately for Pedro, a month into his second term in comes this guy, General Victoriano Huerta. General Huerta led a coup against then-president Madero in La Tacina Tragica, or 10 Tragic Days in English, and overthrew Madero, thus ending Lascarain's time as foreign secretary. L's in the chat for Madero. During this coup, Madero and his vice president Jose Suarez were both taken prisoners, isolated, and forced to resign, leaving Lascarain as next man in line which makes him the new El Presidente. That was, until an hour later, when General Huerta came in demanding Pedro sign the presidency over to him, which he did, thus making the shortest presidency in world history. 